second, but I'll unmute you after. Yeah, all right. Welcome everybody. Come on in, get set up. We got an awesome session today. We'll just wait for everyone to come in and get connected. Get ready. A very good session today, guys. So Get ready, get set up. We'll just give another couple seconds to, to make sure that everyone's ready. If you're coming with a team today, because we have a few teams, make sure that you put your team name in brackets. So you can go to participants, hover over your name, and click the rename button. And when you click rename, put your team name in brackets. So, you know, exa example, Jake Nerwinski would put in brackets, you know, Whitecaps FC or Vancouver Whitecaps. So make sure you put your team in. Name in, that way we know which team you're, you're representing today. On that note, we'd like to welcome a few teams. We've got the Bays United Girls, Gold, BCT Strikers, Burnaby District Wave, Coastal Maniacs, Coastal Thunder, Kelowna United, Kura Elite, Kamloops Lions, North Fan FC Euro, Quinell Fury, Surrey United Nitro, and Fiona's private team. So welcome everyone, really excited to have you. Anyone else who would like to bring their team in, who's in today or who's just watching on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, you can email Reese and Reese will help set your team up and, and bring you in. So as I said, another great session today. Uh, we'll be focusing on dribbling. We've got Coach Reynolds who's been doing it since the start. So we're really fortunate to have him. And then we have a very special guest uh, who you'll, you'll meet, who will be giving you some coaching tips. Um, and you'll, who you'll have some, uh, a chance to ask some questions to at the end. So make sure you stay right until the end and you can ask Jake some questions. So here's a little look at what we're doing today. It's dribbling. You just need four cones or four objects to use as cones, one ball, uh, and Coach Reynolds will, will take you through it. So without further ado, we'll get going now and I'll introduce uh, Coach Reynolds. Go ahead, Coach Reynolds. Awesome, Brandon. Thanks a lot. Uh, welcome to another edition of our live skills uh, clinic. I think this is week is it week three, week four of it. Uh, and it's been awesome to see so many of you guys participating, following along. Uh, and the last couple of weeks have obviously been special because we've had first team players join us. And uh, Jake Nerwinski, obviously thrilled to have him here. So Jake, give us a little wave. Hey, guys. Very excited awesome. to be here. Sweet. Uh, and we also have uh, Amory King, who's from our Whitecaps Academy here in Kootenays, who's going to be doing some demonstrations uh, and is going to be providing a little bit of feedback as well. So without further ado, let's get started with our warm-up. You, you don't need a soccer ball for the warm-up just yet. You do need your four cones in a square or your four objects. I'm just using socks. You can use whatever. Um, and Amory is going to show us what I want. So we're just going to be jogging on the spot, and then we're going to do four high knees, four heel flicks, and then two leg kicks. Yeah, so we'll just get nice and warm, four heel flicks, and I swing the legs a couple times, four high knees, four heel clicks, and then swing the legs. Yeah, we'll just get a very quick warm up. So everybody over there, let's go do that for about 30 seconds or so. Let's get going. Jake, I know every player is different, but are you a uh, are you a big warm up guy? You like to get yourself nice and warm before you do things. I do, I do. I usually whenever I start before training, I usually come in pretty tight. So I um I work with all of our trainers a lot just to make sure that I'm fully ready to go and nice and loose. Absolutely. Because the worst worst thing to be is when you you start running and you're tight. You know that everybody knows that feeling and it's not great. Hundred percent. So last ten seconds of the warm up. Yeah. Atta boy, Beckham. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Beckham. Beckham, what a setup. 
That'd be nice. All right. And then come bring it back into me. All right. Next little part of our warm up here. All right. Don't need a soccer ball yet, but we're going to be working on a little bit of balance, agility, and some, some power from our legs. So here's how it's going to look. We're going to go from outside the cones to inside, outside, inside. You'll see. We're going to start off with a two footer jump. So we go two foot inside, two foot outside, two foot inside, out. And we just go in the circle. Once we do one lap, we're going to go to one foot in. So one foot in this way. And once we get to the start, we're going to go on our other leg. So we'll go this way. And we use two feet again, and we're going to repeat the cycle. So it goes two footed, and then your one leg, and then your other leg. Let's go. Yeah, just like that, Amy. Well done. And it's important to try to stay nice and balanced. You're not falling over, leaning over. You're staying nice and strong through your legs. Good work, Logan. There you go, Logan. At a skills goal. How much? How much time is sort of spent doing strength and agility type stuff? Oh, Jackson. Can I quarantine with you? That's incredible. Look at this. That is unreal. That is bigger than my apartment, that space right there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, nice and springy through the legs. That's where we get some of our speed from. That's it, Cameron. And Jake, Jake, with the first team, I imagine you guys do this quite a bit. Oh, yeah, this is a, a big part of our training schedule. Um, you know, we usually work out, you know, three times a week. And then even before training, we go probably 30 minutes of agility, mobility, and warm up just so, you know, we know we're ready. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah, last 30 seconds. Keep going. It's, it's good to see some of our teams here. Keep going on more, last 15 seconds. Nice. All right, and then come bring it back into me. All right, awesome. Okay, uh, it is time to get the soccer balls out. So, uh, Amory's just gonna show us how we're gonna get warmed up with the soccer ball. We're gonna take as many touches as we can different parts of the feet using both feet. Uh, so Amy, show us how we want the, the warm with the ball. Yeah, so he's going nice and quick. Nice. Taking lots and lots of touches. He's staying in his square, which you don't have to. You can move out of your square if you want to, but just get nice and warmed up using both feet, all different parts of the foot. All right, let's go. Thank you, Amy, that was good. Nice, Jack. Good, okay, Jack. Nice and quick, quick okay. feet. Nice. Oh, nice. We got some of our teams. Oh. It's, a, it's a busy square. You got to keep it tight. Nice I like Jack. that. <laughs> Atta boy, Aiden. Keep it going, buddy. Nice and fast. That's excellent. Good, Aiden. That's it, Mo. Last 10 seconds. Try to get in as many touches as we can. Ava, it's not time for water break yet. Ava, come on now. There you go. <laughs> and me. excellent. All right, sweet. All right, so uh, we're, as Brandon said, the focus of the session today is mostly on dribbling. So in your square, I'm gonna get you to do a little dribbling pattern. Make sure you pay attention to me because I'm just gonna explain the pattern and demonstrate. So it's gonna be five toe taps, five tick tocks, 
and then five, drag it back with your outside and then drag it back and tap with your inside. So watch me very closely. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we drag and tap with the outside, drag and tap with the outside, two, three, four, five, and then the same thing with the inside, one, two, three, four, five, and then I repeat it, so one, two, three, four, five, 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 and you're just gonna repeat it for, for about a minute or so, okay? So if we understand, let's get out there and get going. Okay. Amory, I show us Amory, so the toe taps, the inside. Oh, I got a quick feet. Yeah, perfect, Amory, that's just like that. Astra meal, good work. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Well done, buddy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice. Yeah. Try to get as many rounds through the circuit as you can. Let's go, Cash. <laughs> Cash, no lollygagging around over there. Uh, number 28. Will. Oh, wow. Love it. Love it. He did that for me. I know he did. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. I think he just taped, he taped his jersey up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like there are a couple fans it who want to want to show you the some some things they have of yours later on. We'll, we'll bring them in. All right. I'm excited. Also the North Van FC team here, the, the Euro team. Good to see. Yeah, good done. Yeah, he's got his jersey on. Yeah, no kidding. He's ready to go. Yeah. Sign him up. <laughs> Last 10 seconds here. And perfect. Okay. Um, grab a quick little drink of water because I know you've been working hard. Um, so just take a little drink. You have a poll question. I have a poll question. So have a All look right. at me. It's a I'll quiz. See. So see if you can answer. We've got a special guest Ooh. today. Who knows who Jake scored his first goal against? Wow. We'll bring him in. We scored two, ball. so. <laughs> it's a bit tricky. A bit of a tricky question, don't you think, Jake? Ah, it's also the same team that I made my MLS debut against. So wow. I think you guys know that one, too. It's kind of a two-for-one right there. There you go. We'll give it another couple seconds here. So for those who can't see the poll on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, which team did Jake score his first MLS goal against? We've got San Jose Earthquakes, Sporting Kansas City, New York Red Bulls, or Montreal Impact. And hey, Reynolds, Reynold, I know I said I was all right, but that was a left-footed goal right there. I, I, was, I was actually just thinking about that goal. It was, <laughs> it was the same game where Bax broke the record, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So after the goal, it didn't really go well for us. But. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jake, what, what what team was it? It was San Jose. All right, we got 57, 57 people 57? got it right. All right. Not bad. A bit tricky because you did score against Kansas City, too, this year. That is true. So you can goal score. Exactly. You can goal score a team. It's just, you know, it's what it is. Right now, yeah. <laughs> More to come. It's going uh, to get to double-digit goals from right back this year. Oh, wow. I love that <laughs> shout. <laughs> no pressure, Jake. No pressure. So uh, We got we to gotta uh, get back on the field first. <laughs> yeah. All right. Into the next little part of our activity. This time, you're going to be dribbling around the outside of the cone. So Amy's just going to show us how it's done first. The first time he's going to go around, he's just going to use toe taps with the bottom of his foot to go around the square. Once he gets to the start again, He's going to use some inside touches. So he's going to use the, uh, we call them just a tech talk. So to go inside taps around the second time. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh. Nice and tight. Good. And he's going to repeat that pattern. So it's going to be bottom of the foot and then it's going to be inside tap. So just like that. All right, let's go. Okay. 
Nice. Nice. Mini, mini ball. I love it. Yeah. Nice. That's it. Yeah, you can use any objects you want. Yeah, look at that. What do we got there? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> nice. Luke. Yeah, it's been tough for all of us to get a haircut, Luke. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, Luke, I need one too. Don't worry. <laughs> Your flow looks good, though. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Keep going, Trev. Oh, boy. Oh, there's Marcus, maybe. Maybe it's the other way around. Who knows? <laughs> A little traffic jam. Good yeah. work. Yeah, stay nice and quick. Stay nice and quick, Bentley. Yeah, yeah. every step, every step. Touch the ball. Yeah, that's a great point, Jake. Try to take a touch every step you take. Um, 30 seconds. Yeah, try to get around the circuit a couple more times. Great feed, Isla. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jake, these are, these are Marks and Vienna. They're on every day with us, trained together, pushing each other to get better, which is great to see. Oh, that's awesome. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Love it. Love the Mohawk, too. Look at that. I I need to, maybe I should get my fiance to shave my head like that. Yeah, I was just going to do it. I like that haircut. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then Rick, come bring it back into me. Good job, guys. All right. Very well done. So um, we're going to go around the cones again, but this time we're going to tweak it a little bit. Um, so this time, and I think Ian will show us, but this time we're going to go around using the outside part of our foot. Then we're going to change direction and use the outside part of our foot on the other foot. Right, so you know what, let's just, I'll just show you a quick demonstration of it. So we go, we're we gonna go around the square and using our outside foot we, when we get to the, the columns. So I'll go here and I'll use the outside of my foot. I'll go here, the outside foot. I'll go here, the outside foot. But when I get to the start, I'm gonna change direction and use my other foot. So I'll go here, outside. Go here, outside, here, outside, and then I'll get to the start. Then this time, I'll use inside cuts. So inside cut, inside cut, inside cut. Get to the start and change direction. Inside cut, inside cut, inside cut. All right, and then you repeat that pattern. So twice with the outside foot and twice with the inside of your foot. All right, go ahead. Nice, nice, Amy. Keep that ball nice and close to you. Very quick. Yeah. Good quartz. Nice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Court. In direction again. Yeah, I can go the other way. Perfect. Uh, keep keep the head up too. Like how Coach Reno kept his head up when he was going around. You yeah. gotta know where the ball is. It's important. You don't yeah. always need to look down. Well done, Reese. Good stuff. That's also a great setup, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Almost a goal. I got a goal there. Yeah. Sophia, well done. Good, Good job, Emma. Emma. Yeah, you can use whatever space you have. Don't need a ton of space. You know. Tight little, tight little areas, and that's fine. Just ask your parents to move all the furniture around. Who cares? <laughs> Let's go, Andy. Andy, you're on camera, buddy. Let's go. There we go. Good, it, Andy. <laughs> Nice, buddy. There you go. He's, he was watching himself on the big screen. <laughs> yeah, good work, Jackson. 
Great job, everybody. And last 10 seconds here. Try to get in a couple more turns. Go, Aiden, go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And then come bring it back into me again. All right. Um, we are going to get into the little challenge part of our session today. And it's, here's how it's going to work. We've got to get in as many as square as possible. But every time you do one lap, you go and shoot the correct All right. So I'll just show you, you can use any, any type of turn you want, any kind of uh, technique to get around the cones. But every time you get to the start, you change direction and go the opposite way. So we'll go this way first. When I get to the start, I'll change direction or go this way. And then the scoring system works where every time you do a lap, you get two points. All right. So give yourself a point every time you get to the starting cone again and do your turn and change direction the other way. And we're going to see how many points we can get. But Amory is going to do a little practice for us and we're going to count to see how many points he can get. All right, so let me just get the timer ready, Amory. Nice. Yeah, no pressure, Amory. It's just a couple thousand. Yeah, this is your time to shine. <laughs> Axel, <laughs> Axel should be watching this. Exactly. All right, so three, two, one, go. Yeah, excellent. Look at that speed. Uh, that's pretty quick. It was very quick. Nice, Amory. Yeah, good quick change of direction. Good, buddy. Yeah, that's all right. Just keep keep all right. the last five seconds, Avery. Here we go. Oh, get one more. Come on. Three, two. Get there. One. Time. Yeah, you got it. You got it. All right. So, uh, right in the chat, how many points Avery got? 12, which is a pretty excellent score. Woo. Woo. Yeah, and like I said, you use any part of the foot to get around the cones. Just make sure you turn and change direction when you get to the start. So I'll get the timer out again because I want you all to try to get some big scores here. All right. And remember, two points every time you get her to the start. Three, two, one, go. Good start. Yeah. Nice, Max. We got the Max, Max. Killing it. Yes. That's not a bad view, London. Yeah. Let's go, London. Last yeah, 10 seconds. Eight. Ooh. Three, Diana. two, one. Time. Woo. Uh, I think Brad's going to put up a poll. So tell me how many points you got. Remember, two points every time you get around the area. Sure. One second. Let me uh, pull it up. All right. This, this is some high numbers in here. So just let's hear your, your real scores here. What you got? Be honest. Honesty is <laughs> the best policy here. In the chat, Julia says she has 12. Adam, 14. Wow. Oh, and Adam. Anya, 16. Oof. All right, let's uh, see what the results were. Generally in the 11 to 14 range there. Pretty good. Uh, a couple awesome. 20s, huh? <laughs> Smaller squares, maybe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or longer legs. <laughs> no. All right, so here's how, here's how it's going to work. We'll do... We'll give you one more round, then we're going to see if you have any questions for Jake, and then we'll do a final round at the very end. Okay, so get ready again, because we're going to do one more little round here, and we'll get started in about five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, who's getting 30? <laughs> Izzy's off to a great start. Yeah. Very nice. Good job, Alexander. 
Ooh, great footwork here. Yeah. No, hey, that was a good turn right there. That was quick. Quick turn. Jake, who do you think on the team would get the best score in here? Ooh, I think I would go with Yordi. Yordi's got mm -hmm. the quickest feet that I think I've ever played with. Very wow. good in tight spaces. And Definitely Yordi. Three, two, one, time. Wow. I just saw that. Yeah. Nice collapse to the ground. He's so tired. <laughs> All right. So, um, Brandon, do you want to take the, over the questions here? Yeah. So, maybe first, everyone who improved their score, let's see a thumbs up on the screen. Awesome. Talia, Bella, Kayla, nice work. Well, that's what it's all about. You get better right, and better. Everyone. So as Reynolds said, we got a, we got a very special guest here. I'll, I'll bring on the screen. Jake Nerwinski, right, in ba right back for Vancouver Whitecaps FC. Uh, now his fourth year, he was, he was drafted in 2017. Uh, he's had a good career and he's just getting going. So submit your questions. If you want, you can send them in the chat. But if you want to ask a question yourself, just put your hand up and we'll go to your screen and you can ask Jake the question. So let's see, show of hands, who wants to ask a question? Okay, we got Daniel here. We'll bring you on the screen. Daniel, ask your question. Hey, Daniel. Uh, this question is for Jake. Okay. Uh, what is it like to step on the MLS field for the first time? Oh, it was an incredible experience. Um, I was actually in my home state of New Jersey when I played my first professional game. So I had about 60, 70 of my family members and friends there. So it was just a very surreal and incredible moment. It was awesome. All right. We have Molly here who wanted to ask a question. And I think she might have had something as well. Go ahead, Molly. I want to show you this picture I took with you last year. Oh, awesome. And also I have your player card. Oh, you got it all. That's great. And my question is, what are some good meals for pregame? Oh, good pregame meals. I always go with chicken um, or pasta, good carbs. You got to get some vegetables in there, broccoli, a big broccoli guy, or asparagus. But my, mostly chicken. I'm a big chicken guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. Violetta, go ahead. My question is, what was your team's name? What was my team's name? Yeah. Maybe when the you were White young. Cat. Oh, when I was younger? Um, what was I? Let's see. I was the Jackson Tigers when wow. I was younger. That was my team. Yeah, we were scary. <laughs> All right. Paisley, do you have a question? How old were you when you started playing? That's a good question. I think I was around four years old when I started playing. Back then, we called it, we used to call it peanuts. That's what we called it when we were younger, you know, the little goals, little pug goals. But yeah, four years. All right. Sam, would you like to ask a question? Um, how, how, like, how, how does it feel to be like an MLS player? How great does it feel? Oh, that's that's a very good question. It's um, it's a pretty awesome feeling. You know, I put in a lot of hard work when I was younger. Um, this was always a dream of mine to be a professional soccer player. I think um, when I was about six years old, my uncle actually filmed me saying that I wanted to be a professional soccer player. So it's very cool that that um, actually came true. All right, Hayden, I'm gonna bring you up. Go ahead. <laughs> Maybe I'm sorry, can you say that again? Ronaldo. Ooh, I see Ronaldo. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a Ronaldo guy. I, I don't have the – I'm not that good with my feet, so I rely on my athleticism, and I think Ronaldo is one of the most athletic players out there, so I'm going to go with Ronaldo. All right. Someone wants to know if you ever changed positions in, in your soccer career. Uh, yeah, I did. I was a um, I was a forward until I was 17 years old. And my coach, um, he said, you know, I think you're going to be better as a defender, as a right back. You can uh, attack and go forward. And at the time, I was 
very upset about it because I wanted to be the guy that was scoring the goals all the time. But I think now that looking back on it, it was the right call. Okay, um, Malik, just trying to get you unmuted here. Go ahead, Malik. How old were you when you started playing soccer? I was four years old when I started playing. How old were you? I was two and a half. Two and a half. Nice. Wow. Pretty young. Okay, Lily, you're up. Um, if you could go back to any game or moment in your soccer career, what would you go back to? That's a very good question. I think I would go back to the first game of this season when I scored my um, – first goal in BC place I was actually fortunate enough to have my mom and dad and my fiance in the stands there to see it and that was the first time my parents have seen me score a goal um, you know they usually make a trip one or two times out to Vancouver a year so I thought that was one of the most special moments we have Aiden from our Euro FC team joining us today go ahead Aiden um, does it ever get like annoying, like hearing all the fans screaming or do you just block it out? Uh, I wouldn't say it gets annoying. Um, sometimes it gets very loud, but I kind of like that personally. I think it's very cool, you know, that you have a bunch of fans cheering for you, cheering for your team. And even the other way around, if they're cheering for the other team, you just want to make, you want to make them quiet. So I think, um, hearing that kind of gives an extra motivation. We're going to go to you to to ask your question. Is there any tips for young players? Nice. That's a good see. That's the question that we're looking for here. Um, I think that the main tip that I would give that my you know my mom and dad gave me was to always believe in yourself and to work hard every day. Um, you know, doing things like this, this skill challenge, when you're young, you need to make sure that you're always on the ball. You're always training, no matter what the circumstances are, even if it's in a smaller space like you guys have been doing today. It's just important to always, you know, get out there and try to be the best that you can be. Question from the chat from Kevin. Who's the toughest attacking player that you've ever faced? Ooh, I would probably go with um, Diego Rossi. Uh, LAFC, he's, he's definitely one of the most skillful, quick, fast players that I've played against. Um, we always have good battles. Uh, sometimes he comes out on top, sometimes I do, but he's definitely one of the best attackers that I've defended. Reza, we're coming to you. What's your question? Who's your favorite, who's like your inspirer player? I, I would say my favorite player growing up was Sergio Ramos when he was a right back. Um, I tried to emulate him in some ways, not in the ways where he would, you know, get a lot of yellow cards or red cards. I would try to stay away from that. But, you know, he's a great player. He's one of the you know best defenders to ever play the game. Chloe? Um, what's your favorite female player? My favorite female player? I would say Alex Morgan. I, you know, I think she um, – She's lethal in front of net. She has always produced in times of need for the U.S. women's national team, and she's a born winner. Do a couple more here. Um, let's see. Do we have one from the chat? What's You know, you've scored a couple in MLS now. What's the best goal you've ever scored in your life? Ooh, in my life. Um, I would say when I was back at UConn, I scored a goal with my – with my left foot, actually, you know, from outside the 18 that ended up winning us the game in overtime. And I think that was uh, probably the highlight of my career there. Okay, Reese from North Fan FC. Go ahead. Hey, Reese. Did you ever want to play any other position than right back? Yeah, um, like I said before, I, I was a forward growing up, you know, from probably age five to 17. And I thought that I was going to stay there throughout my entire career. Um, I love scoring goals. I played there in high school, but um, I ultimately made the decision to move back to right back. Um, I kind of tried to make it into my own, tried to attack as much as, as possible and try to make that a very important position to a team.
Two more questions. Deacon asks in the chat, what was the biggest change going into professional soccer? I would say the speed of play. Um, I remember the first week that I got to the Whitecaps for preseason training, just how intense and how quick these guys were, you know, how good their foot, their footwork was and just the yeah, overall speed of play, I would say, was the biggest challenge to um, get used to. And we'll end with Colton here, who has an interesting question. Would you rather face a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-one? -on -one? I mean, two-on-two. -on -two. Ooh, I would go with a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I, I like the challenge of, you know, defending one-on-one. -on -one, and I think when you get to really get to stop a guy, stick him, you know, win the ball, it's the best feeling. All right, everyone. Amazing questions. Really good questions. Can we get a big round of applause? A big thank you for Jake. Good round of applause to you guys. Good stuff. Good work. Thanks, Jake. Awesome having you today. And before we go, we have a couple more people to thank. Let's make sure that we thank Coach Randall for an awesome job. Yeah, that's good job, Coach Randall. Good to have you guys uh, playing soccer in your homes, wherever it is. Like Jake said, as much as possible, dribble the ball around. Yeah, love the game. We got one more, of course. Amory, great work today, Amory. Thank you. Quick feet, quick feet, Amory. Yeah. Jake Nierwitzki <laughs> giving you the quick feet, big honor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Remember that we do this every weekday, Monday to Friday. So thank you to our teams. Kai, see you there from Coastal, uh, North Van FC, Coastal Thunder. Uh, Quinnell, Surrey United, awesome having you all here. Everyone who's joined us every day, keep coming. We'll be back again same time tomorrow, Monday to Friday, whitecapsfc.com slash skills clinic. So keep coming, keep joining us. We also have other training videos on whitecapsfc.com, our home play, our ball mastery. So keep coming. And uh, we look forward to seeing Jake and team back on the, back on the field soon. Yes, sir. Hopefully soon. Thanks, right. guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye now.